not confident so that let's practice is to cultivate strength and stability so together we're gonna breathe deeply to ground ourselves and empower you to rise with strength towards the of your emotional and physical harmony see you on your mat let's begin with the neck shoulder stretch by a comfortable sitting position, left palm facing back and around the body. Bind with your right hands. Tilt your head to the right, feel the stretch on your left neck. Stay here for 5 breaths. Swap side, left palm facing back across the back as you bind with your left hand. Tilt your head to the left. Feel the stretch on your right neck. Inhale and exhale. Both hands to the floor and push yourself to Adamukha Svanasana. Head all your feet. Next inhale, left leg to the sky. Exhale, bring your left leg in between your hands. Pivot your right feet 45 degree to the side of your mat. Inhale to Vira Bandrasana 1. Left knee a 90 degree bend. Internally rotate your left hip. Pull your knee cup on your right leg. Spine is lifted, shoulder blades together. Arms are parallel and gaze up. This act of balancing work on creating a stillness in the mind. Improve your all holistic health. Escape the chaos of life. Straighten your left leg. Interlace the finger with your left thumb over your right. Exhale, bow forward. Parasvottan Yoga Mudra. Pull your kneecaps on both legs. Scapula together. Palms interlace and point down. Gaze to the back. Deep exhale for forward bend. Your hip and your core are engaged to stabilize in these asanas. Well done guys! A great pose to improve the flexibility of your shoulders, upper back, lower back, hip flexor and your left hamstring. Slowly come back up, root your left leg and we're gonna Transitions to Garudasana. Right leg over your left leg. One rep or two rep. Left hand is on top and right hand is under your left hand. Both feet are bent. Active foot arch. Your shoulders are internally rotated. Chin is aligned to the chest. Palms together. Engage your core, your calf, hip flexor, your quads. Gaze ahead. Garudasana leaves you feeling strong mentally and emotionally steady. From here, we can extend our right leg behind the mat. Into Viva Badasana 3. Form a T-shape on with your body. Your back leg is parallel to the floor. Feet is pointing down. You can look back, see if your feet is pointing to the mat. Active toes on your left feet. Left leg are straight. Your spine is lengthened forward. Gently release, toes in, heels out. You can arrive in Prasarita Paranta Asana C. Interlace the finger behind you as you fall forward. You will feel a deep stretch in your inner and back hamstring. 
your upper and your side body straps. The firmness of the calf will give you support to your feet. Toes wide to stabilize your toes. Inhale and exhale. Gently come back up. We can do a vinyasa flow, chaturanga dandasana. Inhale, look up. Exhale, push the floor away. Adumukha svanasana. We will take a pause. Regulate your breath. Down over back, we're gonna do on the other side. Couple more breath here. And please stay in here. Nothing to do. Just focus on your breathing. If you feel tight on your hamstring, next inhale, straight to the right side, right leg to the sky, exhale in between your hands, pivot your back feet 45 degrees to the side of your mat, inhale in Virabharasana 1, right knee a 90 degree bend, right feet is front facing, Back leg are straight as much as possible and pull your knee cups. Bring all the fresh energy and reduce insomnia. Straighten your right leg, interlace your right thumb over your left. When you exhale, we're gonna bow forward. Parasvotan Asana Yoga Mudra. Deep exhale as you fold forward. Hugging your right hip closely, internally rotate your hip to find your balance. Pushing with your back feet and stay in this counterbalance. Come back up. Root down your right leg, this time left leg, gonna wrap over your right leg and left arm gonna wrap under your right arm. Presenting Garuda Sana. In Hindu, in Hindu mythology, Garuda represents the perfect balance between the opposing spores. Very so wobbly. <laughs> You're doing just fine. One more breath. Continue to to root down your right leg, kicking your left leg behind you in Vibra Badrasana 3. Hand can be at the side of your mat or in the yoga mudra. Actively kicking with your back leg. Staying in this T shape, your spine are strong and lengthen forward. Slowly come back down. We cannot bring ourselves in the sitting positions. Bend both knees and lift your feet off the floor. Paripurna Navasana. Strong hip flexor and your core as you raise your leg. Options to stay in 90 degree or straighten your leg all the way to the sky. Gaze to your feet. Sit bones are grounded. Hips are internally rotate. Our last pose here. Bring your belly to the floor. Bend both knees. On your next inhale, we're gonna kick yourself back as your hand bind to your feet, lifting your chest. Danur Asana. 
thighs are squeezed together, knees are hip width apart, toes point up. Engage your glutes to protect your back. Show the blades together and rotate it. When you have enough, release, shake your bum. And lastly, Shavasana. If you feel called to do anything else, this is the time for you to release any poses. I will call you when it is time. Gently bring your awareness to your body, move your fingers, your feet, give yourself a good stretch as we bring ourselves all the way up in the sitting positions. You are most welcome to stay in Shavasana if as you wish. If you are with me, next inhale both hands to the sky, exhale bow forward. Thank you everyone who practiced with me. I hope you have a good night's sleep. Subscribe, like and comment if you enjoyed the practice. See you on the next video.